Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Mark Adams with the University of Edinburgh. I'm here just to tell you a little bit about PGC resources for collaborative data science. The best way to start thinking about version control is to understand that your first collaborator is yourself. If you've been doing collaborative data analysis for any length of time, you've probably run into this problem. Multiple versions of your code, perhaps one living on your laptop, or one in your cluster, or maybe even a code change that one of your collaborators has sent you. The problem is you might not remember which version of your analysis your collaborator edited or where these files came from or where they live. So merging all of these different files together, keeping track of changes, and sharing updates with collaborators is what version control is for. The mission of the PGC is to foster collaboration among researchers worldwide. To that end, we've launched an organization for the PGC on github.com. This resource will allow PGC members to share ideas, coordinate projects, and make the code underlying PGC analyses publicly available. So what is github.com? GitHub has two parts. There's an underlying open source version control system uh, called Git that has both command line and GUI interfaces. And then GitHub is a layer on top of that. Uh, it's a commercial website that offers a number of additional project management features. The main reason we're using Git is because it's distributed. So being distributed means that every copy of the code contains its complete history and all of the work that's actively being done. So you never need to worry about having access to some centralized system. The history is always there with you. Git also makes it really easy to make internal copies of the code, which are called branches. And these branches can be used for experimentation without overwriting the main copy of the code or interfering with your collaborator's changes. So while the version control system in Git is fully distributed, it can be convenient to use GitHub as a meeting point. So using GitHub makes it easy to keep various copies of your code synchronized, uh, such as between your laptop at home and your computing cluster. GitHub is also a great way to share code with collaborators who work at different institutions, and therefore they wouldn't have access to your local computer systems. So having introduced Git and GitHub, I want to talk a little bit about what we're trying to achieve with the PGC organization on GitHub. So for each of the PGC work groups, we have a different GitHub team, and these teams can be used to uh, discuss issues, share projects, and also share access to the different code bases for the work group. As part of the PGC team, we've set up a few templates that can be used as a starting point for new projects. Another advantage of having our organization is that you can make private repositories, uh, which is normally a paid feature on GitHub. GitHub also provides some really fine-grained access permissions, so you can control exactly who has read and write permissions on your code base. It's also possible to invite collaborators who are external to the PGC. There's also a place on GitHub to have discussions with your collaborators, and these discussions can be turned into a sort of to-do list called issues, where you can track and assign all the things that you want to do in your analysis. The branching feature I mentioned earlier is also a really nice way to organize the large parts of your analysis and give you a high-level overview of the state of everything, uh, what's being worked on, and what needs to come next. These two project management features, issue tracking and branches, also come together in what's called a pull request. In a pull request, you can make a bunch of changes to your code and invite one of your collaborators to check and approve your changes before they become part of the main analysis. I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of information. To find out more, see the PGC Worldwide Lab Talk from March 2020, or get in touch with me at mark.adams at ed.ac.uk to join in.